if you don't want to miss out any of our uploads all you have to do is just turn on the notification bell and anytime we upload a new video you're going to receive an alert on your phone from youtube assalamu alaikum don't just make up stuff on your own and just use carelessly use the words halal and what haram what do we do kids are in an islamic school one kid is eating uh, chewing yo that don't eat chewing gum that's haram the other one is playing a video 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 games are haram the other one is you know no matter what you do the first word that comes out of the kid's mouth is what haram and it doesn't children didn't invent that themselves they didn't invent that themselves they got that from their parents they got that from a culture where we love casually to use the word haram for everything by the way the fuqaha of islam who know a lot more than you and i do they would think a thousand times before they would call something haram. And nowadays, for you and me, it is so easy, man. Pizu, pizu, pizu. Haram, haram, haram. It's so easy. As a matter of fact, you know what our default position is? Haram until proven halal. Yo, why are you laughing in the masjid? That's haram. Why are you sitting like that? It's haram. Why are you standing like that? It's, oh God, man. You know. We don't, we, we, and we, you know, when you do this, you know what happens? You take things that Allah did not impose on people, and you like to impose on people. Your version of haram, your version of halal, that's not even rooted in any kind of deep knowledge. You never sat deeply with a, with a faqih and discussed the issue. Your d deep research involved Google, and you didn't even finish the whole search. He, they auto entered the rest of it. And you didn't even read the whole article, you read the first line. And you don't even know who the author is. It's some, it says Sheikh, so it must be good. You don't even know.